So this particular test is called the urea hydrolysis test. And so with the urea hydrolysis test, you'll notice that uh, it is a, uh, a very common um, pH indicator that we're using here. It's called phenol red. Phenol red at uh, neutral conditions is orange, just like that. Uh, at uh, alkaline conditions, it is fuchsia. And at acidic conditions, it's yellow, like this, okay? Um, so what you do here is you take an inoculating loop and you inoculate the organisms you want to test. And so in this case, we used uh, E. coli and Proteus mirabilis. And then you inoculate them in, you incubate them for 24 hours, you come back. And if you look at them, you can see that if it turns fuchsia, it's positive. If it remains orange, then it's negative, right? And that's simply because the molecule of urea looks like this. And so if you look at the molecule of urea, you can see that there's a carbon double bonded to an oxygen and then bonded to an, um, an amino group or two amino groups, right? So when this happens, the enzymes cleave the molecule here and here and those two amine groups get released into the environment which immediately then pick up another hydrogen and become ammonia, right? And the ammonia then increases the pH in the media which causes the fuchsia color, okay? So in urea, fuchsia is positive for the breakdown of urea, orange would be negative.